and you can see this header here with this wave this water wave running through it and it's on the background of the text and then the text has this beautiful outline so the first thing i'll do is to add a container and the flex box and i'll choose this first one and i want to make this section to be totally black i'll give it a black background and then i also want to add a heading inside here and this heading text i want to see expertise expertise I want to come to style, I want to center it. I also want to make the typography to be shoulder. Remember we initially chose poppins to be the default for headers, but I changed my mind. I want it to be very big. I want it to be 200. I also want it to be 900. That is uh, the width. So this is this. First of all, I want to give this uh, entire section a top padding of close to 60 why not um, you know 80 and then the second thing I want to do is that I want to duplicate this section I will duplicate this section next I need to add the stroke effect on the first line of text so doing that I'm going to have to use custom CSS which of course by now you are you are aware that is only available to Elementor Pro so I'll click here on the edit button come to advance cause come to custom CSS and I'm going to paste a line some lines of uh, CSS code here which of course as you know you also know is going to be available for you to download freely so I'll just paste the code here right now which is that and you see when I paste the code, it automatically turns uh, the borders to be this color, which is the same color we've been using, the same color we used here. For you to see the effect clearly, I'll come to the style tab and then I will turn this text to be black. So you see it there right now. For us to continue, I'll actually need to change the text color here to be transparent. So. To do that, I'll click on style, come to text color, and I want to drag this slider. It's still going to be the same because uh, our background is black. So, and I want to change this one now to be this color. I want it to be this color. Of course, we already have the color here. Here it is. I will just control C. And then I want to come here. And I want to go to style. And I want to paste that hex code here. So we are now going to have to uh, superimpose these two lines of text. In order to do that, the first thing I want to do is to first of all give some bottom padding here of let's say 80. I, will, I can reduce it later on. So I want to superimpose these two. The first step is first of all, if I come to this navigation here, you see the two lines of text. Let me just click on this first one. And I want to come to advanced tab. I want to come to, and then you see here position. It says default, I want to make it absolute. And then for the second one, I want to do the same thing. I want to come to advanced tab. You see there has been some movement here. Don't worry, we are going to fix that. I want to come to advanced tab and then for position, I also want this to become absolute. So both of them are on the same position right now. I want to, you see, this is the more reason why we had to increase the top and bottom pattern. Let me make this 180 top and 180 bottom. What I need to do is to now, you know, position both of them, you know, to be in the center. So I'll come back to the first, come to advanced, and then vertical orientation, rather horizontal rather. What did I do there? I'm going to undo that. Position absolute. I had to go and undo what I did, the mistake which I did. So you see this uh, text, they are both superimposed here. You really can't see it yet, but they are both superimposed on each other. 
So the first thing we want to do is that I want to I want to balance them to be in the middle. So the first thing I will do is I'll click on the first text and for the horizontal offset you can make it 360 you see it shift to the middle you do the same for the second one horizontal offset it should be 360 so you see they are now both in the middle now we can add the custom css which is going to make uh, this text here have that wave effect so what we need to do is scroll down to custom css like we've done before and just paste this text here so you see it looks like water the waves of water i want to give this area i want to give it the top padding of um 200 i'll remove this first i'll remove this and then i want to make this all black first of all when i did that the color changed i'll go back and give this 300 300 and then the bottom i can leave it the way it is now i'll give this instead a top padding of let's say 100 or i'll just add a section here I think what I'll do, I will just add a section here. I'll remove this. I'll add a section. And then make this. Let me bring this up here. And then make this section, this entire section to be black. Let me uh, delete that section for now. I'll duplicate this section. Duplicate this. I can just delete both of these delete this one too so it's just a black section i'll come to the padding remove that so this is just another section i'll bring it up here now let me look at this on the front end and see if there's anything that needs to be adjusted so we see this Okay, it's not yet really centered, centered aligned, so we can increase the horizontal offset. Now, let me look at this on the mobile. On mobile. So it doesn't really show on mobile. It doesn't really show on mobile, which means we have some work to do on the mobile layout. I'll come back to uh, the desktop, and I want to give this horizontal offset I want to make it, let's say 400 here. I'll come to advanced. I'll make this 420. And I'll also make this to be 420. This is it, 420. I'll publish this come to home now we see it at the center so we can go ahead with our work i can make this area here let's see let me give you the top padding 100 and let's see how it looks now we are trying to adjust this to give it the best look so that is that expertise 